welcome to My Life as a Dad. Today's guest is Delaney Walker, best known as the tight end for the Tennessee Titans and what I would call an active dad. Delaney, welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. Good. We all know that uh, any man can be a father, True. but it takes someone special to be the daddy. Most definitely. And that's what this show's all about. I'd like to just talk a little bit about your son. My son, man, he's uh, energetic. Uh, full of life, you know, uh, outgoing, uh, willing to do whatever, just to, you know, have fun. So does he call you dad, daddy, pops? What, what's he call you? He called me dad. Uh, most of the time, you know, he called me Laney, though, you know, because yeah. uh, I, I, when people call me Delaney, he he be like, you, that's my name. And mm -hmm. I'm like, no, nah, that's mm -hmm. my name, too. And he's like, no, your name Laney. My name Delaney. And I'm like, okay, you, you can tell whatever you want, but you can call me dad if you like. But right. he do it whatever he feels. I like that. What age did you start um, tossing the ball with him? Uh, it was probably around like six. We were throwing the ball, you know, he was out there um, catching them, running routes and stuff. So it was, it was fun to see that. Mm -hmm. And he likes it. I mean, he doesn't say like, oh, I want to play baseball or basketball or he just instantly took to football. Uh, you know, I don't force him to play any sport. You know, um, he wanted to do boxing for a little bit and, and uh, his mom put him in boxing. Um, he can play any sport he likes. I think he just like playing football because I play it. And, you know, he see me on TV and, and when he hear my name, you know, when he with his friends, that Delaney Walker, they like, that's you. That's right. You know, yeah. so uh, I think he just want to stick with playing with football just because, you know, I play. When you're with your son, <clears throat> because you get this um, three months or two or three months, right? Mm -hmm. Undivided attention where you have him the whole time. Yep. Are you also doing like the Mr. Brady thing? Like, you know, giving him those little pieces of advice and- Always, always, you know, I try to- Filling him full of stuff. And just to really try to, you know, make sure that he's, his head is on straight and, and not uh, to get uh, carried away with me being in the NFL. I don't want him to think that he can do things because I play football. So I try to make, make it like he's living a, almost an average life. Cause you know, I tell people, you know, uh, he gets a lot of finer things, you know, I buy him any shoes he want, the clothes he want, but at the end of the day, I try to tell him, you gotta work for this stuff. It's never gonna get, be given to you. Um, I work for it and that's why I'm capable to do these things I'm doing for you now. So mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, you gotta do the same thing. How do you place yourself, um, because your dad wasn't around mm -hmm. at all, and so how do you take that into how you are with um, young Delaney? Uh, that, that's the thing, you know, when my dad wasn't around, my mom had to be both parents, and I, I didn't want to, when I was heard out, you know, when I found out I was having a son, I was like, I can't be that way, you know, let me make sure I'm in his life, because I never met my father, and I wanted to make sure my son knew who I was and what I was doing for him. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't want his mom, his his mother to be both parents. I didn't want her to take that burden because my mom, she struggled to do that. So I had to make sure that I was there for him so he understand that I had his back. And I was, you know, even though me and his mom is not together, we still love each other. And I always want him to know that so he can respect women. I think that's huge. And my my dad, when I was raised, he, was, he would leave in the morning before we'd wake up at night and come home after we went to bed. So a lot of times it was like we didn't have a dad, mm -hmm. but when he was with us, we had his undivided attention. <clears throat> so when you interview my dad, my dad will say, I never spent enough time with my kids. Mm -hmm. And you interview any of us kids and we're like, he was always there for us. Yeah. And so I think that you have like that ideal situation with um, Delaney when you're in off season, that you have that undivided attention yep. <clears throat> where you really can involve yourself into him and what's going on. And I, you know, that's what you gotta do. You know, you gotta let them know that you there. You there. You know, they all the kids want to know is that you there. Right. You know, they they didn't care if you don't you don't do like interact. Just know that you there. I know my dad is gonna be there. He's gonna you know if I need him, he gonna come. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just put that through his head. If you ever need me, all you gotta do is call me. You know my number. You got it on your phone. Just hit speed dial. And I'm picking up if you need some. If I'm in California, you know I'm gonna be around. So. Uh, I just try to put that in his head. I'll always be there for him. My life as a dad. Sponsored by Daddy and Company, the perfect gifts for dad.